when you give a presentation, what is the biggest competition or the biggest hindrance to people taking action on your message? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. I heard a great question the other day, and it's one that I'm going to add to my coaching process. Whether you are a, a leader, a business owner, a manager, or sales professional, this is a relevant question. When you're giving a presentation, whether it's a sales presentation or a talk to the troops, so to speak, what is the biggest obstacle to people taking action on your message? The common responses to this question are, well, it's my competition. It's the internet. It's all the different issues that people deal with that, that conflict with their work. I mean, there are a thousand different answers to this question, but the only real answer, the one hindrance that keeps people from taking action on your message is inertia. Never forget, people in general don't like to change. Whether you are trying to get people to think differently about a subject, to take a new action, or just to feel differently about any topic, the biggest challenge you've got is getting them out of their comfort zone. I've talked about this in other videos, but it boils down to this. If we can't make the pain of not changing greater than the pain of staying the same, they're not going to do things differently. That's human nature. It's one of the ways we survive. If we had to constantly change for every subject or every uh, potential that came in front of us, we would constantly be in change and it would just be so unnerving we wouldn't function well. So our job as presenters, again, whether you're leading a group presenting to a large audience, or selling to someone one-on-one, -on -one, is to fight this obstacle of inertia. Helping them understand that if they don't change, it's going to be much more costly than if they step outside of their comfort zone and make the change. Focus on that as you develop your next presentation. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.